Quick question. 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 All right, guys. I'm Jonathan. I'm Travis. Welcome back to the Quick Question Studio. Travis. Yes, sir. We got another guest. We certainly do. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Quick Question Studio. You've seen her on One Tree Hill. You've seen her on Colony. You've seen her ridiculously critically acclaimed arc on Grey's Anatomy. Ladies and gentlemen, our friend, Joy Lenz. Hi. Hi. Uh, Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Quick Question Studio. Uh, First and foremost, welcome to Quick Question. Here's a bag of oranges. Yeah. A bag of oranges. Yes, yes. That always comes in handy. <laughs> yep. well, the first thing we do. I'm going to zest the hell out of these. That is fantastic. I love that. Listen, uh, I like to give a little uh, quick question uh, culinary tip at the beginning. <laughs> okay. A little bit of orange zest in your cold brew coffee really <gasps> brightens it up. Hey. Are you a co- you drink coffee? I love coffee. Oh. I'm an espresso drinker. Actually, one of my favorite things is candied orange peel. Just oh. drop that in the bottom of your espresso cup. Candied orange peel? Yeah. yeah. What's happening right now is what I like to call What's happening right mm. now is Sadowski <laughs> being, being ostracized by two coffee drinkers. John, John, we got this. Um, <laughs> right. Are you a tea man? You're the tea man? Uh, I like I like tea. I like tea. <laughs> what does I that like mean? Tea. I like tea. You tolerate tea? I do like you, it. Do you like any warm beverages? I'm, 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 I like warm beverages. I'm, I guess tea, if I had to go with one, I had, I like tea. I've had, uh, I have, uh, some amazing, uh, watermelon mint tea from Trader Joe's in the fridge. Okay. Which, watermelon mint? Which, fun fact, I got for like four bucks at Trader Joe's. Yeah. Going for like $30 a container on eBay right now. I don't know if you know this, but, uh, flip your tea. That's what we talk about. Just invest in tea. <laughs> should we flip start, it. should we start like a, a home, what's that, uh, the home channel? <laughs> like, yeah, like right. flip, like tea flippers? What we got coming up right now. <laughs> watermelon mint tea. Mint <laughs> condition. <laughs> Joy, welcome to Quick Question. The format is simple. We're going to give you something. You're going to pick something out of the jar of questions, and you're going to answer whatever question is on there. So first and foremost, shake this up, mix it up. It's a question. It's a question. When you pick one, here it comes. All right, you have two. Oh, okay. All right, Joy. Here it is. Quick question. Quick question. How do you feel about? Porn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> you really just went right for yeah. it. You picked you? it. Yeah. Technically, Wait. that question wanted you. That yes. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I just want to point out, John writes some of these questions. I did write yeah, this. You one. wrote that one for I sure. Did. Yeah, that is definitely a John question. <laughs> I think I wrote one where it was like, what's wait, your favorite vacation you to, wait, spot? Here's and the John's like, thing. what's porn like for you? <laughs> so wait, here's, here's the funniest thing about this question. Is that literally before you got here, we went through there and we must have missed this. We missed that one. Because we literally took out every question about sex. <laughs> We sat down and we're like, maybe we should. Do I, I swear to so God. so sweet and innocent I too? swear to God. We, but you know, okay. There it hey, is. Hey, it's all right. We can get into that. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm not a fan. I, you know, I think it's mainly because, uh, the, the further I've gotten into my work with organizations like Equality Now and, um, which is basically a bunch of lawyers that are working to change laws that are, um, demoralizing uh women and girls all over the world and treating them like objects and they're going into places like Yemen and you know talking with the government for a long time years and years this stuff takes sometimes to reverse child bride laws and yep. things like um g- just getting girls educated and you know so they don't feel like they have to be stuck in um an environment where they're using their body as a tool yep. for food or you know, uh, livelihood for their families, things like this. Um, I've also gotten involved with organizations called, uh, one called Love 146, another one is called um, Stop the Traffic. And I just have seen so much devastation that's come from sex as a as a marketing like as as a, as a tool buying another human being right so the you know that to me trickles all the way down to advertising you know For and then sure, the next yeah. step is strip clubs and the next step is it's, porn it's a letter that, you know See, yeah so, so i just have a hard time me with it. personally i i'm i'm kind of uh i i i waver back and forth because there is a part of me that goes look i've watched porn what <laughs> Everyone's watched porn. I've Everybody's never, watched porn. I've, I've never seen this. it. What is it like? <laughs> I'm very curious. Well, I'm going to tell you. It's I'm cartoon t- characters. <laughs> oh, <I'm>, actually, <laughs> so that's not up far off so from what I've. Here's, what I've seen. here's where I fall in the whole on this debate. 
I think, yes, I agree. There is a part of it that could be demoralizing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think some people are thrown in this, the, this culture. And, you know, I, it's, it's almost like going to a strip club and you, you see these people just like, you know, they're doing it out of necessity and not because they, they love what they do. On the other hand, I think there are porn stars who enjoy what they do. And I think sure. Here's now. Here's the one thing I will say about pornography is that I think um, there is a certain group and demographic in our population who don't get be, to be blunt. They don't get laid. You know. Oh they, yeah. They have a hard time with the opposite sure. sex and stuff like right. that. And I think pornography and you know th that can offer some kind of an escape from their own reality. You know, sure. But how does that affect them in the long term? I mean, if you're constantly yeah. separating your emotional life from sex, if you're constantly, if sex is, um, so, you know, th the woman is an object or who, the man or whoever, whatever you're looking at, if you're looking yeah. at porn, um, if, if what's on the page or in the video is an object that you get to use, you're not emotionally connected to that person in any way, shape mm. or form. So in the long run, how does that end up affecting you? Well, as someone who only watches inanimate object porn. Um, <laughs> Table <yeah>. porn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's my favorite one. It's like oh, my only, God. If you only knew what I'm fan of. Oh, my like, God. What, the, what fantasy? Dude, salt, I got salt and pepper shaker yeah. playing out in my Dude, head right now. I got to show you this filthy bridge I know. It's amazing. <laughs> oh You're not going to believe it. Um. Back to your question, though, how do you how do you separate emotionally, for, or how yeah. does it affect you emotionally? Yeah, how does that affect you long term? I just mean like then once specifically to those people you're talking about who maybe don't get a lot of partners, then they they have someone real. Do you really know what to do? like? How does that affect someone's health? Like, how do they have a healthy sexual life with someone who's well, real? If I, they're I so mean, used I to think it could kind of be is like that a dumb question. No, I think no, I no. think it's like no. like this. I think it's kind of like like basic mathematics. It's like look, you know. You go to school, you learn addition and subtraction. Then when you go to the grocery store for the first time and they, get your and they, get, they give you the wrong change, you're like, hey, wait a minute. You're like, holy shit, that came in handy when I, I, what I learned back there. I for a while, I, I thought you were like, and uh, we should use porn to teach children math. Like, we stick, should just <laughs> stick with me here, you know? I think, you know... I do think, though, okay, let's say, I think an adult can have a healthy understanding of what pornography is mm -hmm. i think now where anyone with a, a cable or uh, any kind of internet access can see everything that a body could do yeah do you know the average age now the of kids ex ex being exposed to porn it's is gotta 11? be uh, are you crazy 11 no way because it's just so easy to find in fact it's and a lot of times it's not necessarily like someone showing another kid like oh hey look at this sometimes it's like they're typing in things that they don't, they hear they something no they don't know, it, yeah. and they type it in, and boom, there it is right in front of their face. Yeah, see, I have problems with that. Um, I actually, I, I wanted to create an app called, I think it was called like uh, Ditto or something like that. Ditto? Ditto. Okay. Um, and I want, it was an app where basically, you know, because there was all these stuff with these high schools uh, and these like athletes and, and people like that are, are just, you know, just sharing videos of like their girlfriends and stuff like that. And just like oh. passing it around, it was this, what? Yeah, oh, this yes. So I wanted to come up with this app where basically any phone, any picture that you like, let's say you have a kid who's in high school, uh -huh. their phone plan obviously goes through your the parent's phone. Any pictures that they send or receive, a carbon copy that gets sent to the, the parent's phone. Oh, so you know what they're doing? You know exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's really should be on every teenager's phone. It should until my lawyer told me yes, but then if they send a picture of like a naked high school girl, you are now in possession of child pornography. Right, exactly. And I was You're like. Oh well, that's a very lawyery thing to say, <laughs> you know. And I was like, "It's no, yeah, but I don't know. It depends on what you do with that information, right? True. Like, if just because someone sends you a photo on your phone that you didn't ask for, that yeah. you can't be I mean, liable for that. I just right? that that could get real dice. Yeah. Oh, hold on, my kids, my kids sending me <laughs> my a kids text. Oh <laughs> no, oh jeez, no. But I go on, go on. <laughs> I saw the face. <laughs> John was off doing a movie for a while. I didn't see John for a couple of months. Okay. And oh, boy. This, he, uh, <laughs> this is hysterical. He sends me this text in the middle of the night, and he's in, he's in like, rural Kentucky. I don't like where this story's going, I, but I know yeah. where it ends. <laughs> and he sends me, and, I, and he goes, there's a massive fire here. 
and I play the video for like two seconds and there's this building on fire and I go, oh my God. And I write him back. I'm like, are you okay? Is everything okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm fine. Like kind of surprised by my reaction to it. Hmm. Fast forward two days. My wife and I go out for like some fancy coffee this out is in humili- Calabasas. This is humiliating. <laughs> We're talking. She goes, oh, have you spoken to John? Like, how's John doing? I was like, oh, he's having fun on the movie. I was like, oh my God, there was this huge fire. <laughs> there was the this video. enormous fire. <laughs> where he was Joy. and, and Joy. she was this yeah. is this I have a feeling I know where this is going <laughs> and uh, and she goes oh my god what happened and I was like it was here, let me just show you I pull it up I hit play we have ordered like the most white people food possible like <laughs> They're both vegans. Yeah, first we, we have like you know cauliflower avocado tacos coming with our right. cold brew. Uh, the waiter is coming over no. with the tray of food no. as it's playing, and there's this building on fire, and I'm showing it uh, to my wife with the phone just laying Volume on the on. table. Volume on, and I go, "Yeah, this building." And then it cuts to a man's penis and balls just being slapped and punched. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the waiter goes. Well, that looks painful. And then <laughs> puts the food down, and I was like, "I did it! I didn't watch the! I didn't watch the whole video! I had no idea." So it was just like slow, literally slow burn that oh got my me. God. Like, Which makes it even better that you texted him. Are you okay? Is everything? Okay? <laughs> so I, was like, I was like, I was like drinking. I was like in Louisville. Like I was on like oh, at a whiskey distillery when I said it. I was like hammered, and I come back home. I forgot I sent it to him. He's like, "You're on." I was like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, got, got a little bit mean? of a headache today, yeah. but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I texted him. I was like, well, I just watched the full video and showed it to a waiter. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah. I don't. By the way, that's not what I'm into. I know. didn't think that was what <laughs> you were no, in. Here's no, the, no. And you're not into what's in that video. You are into I'm pranking, pranking people. the hell out of I people. I love pranking yes. people. Yeah. Uh, which is a whole other conversation, but to try to <laughs> wrangle it back in, and this is not really, I'm just going to take a slight veer from, from porn and stuff like that. I think it's very important for, for kids to have an open dialogue with their parents regarding yeah. sexuality. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And I'll never, I'll never forget the first time I kissed someone, like my first kiss. The first person I told was my mom. Aww. Like me and my mom, I know it's, oh, I'm going to get made fun of so much for that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was tough and I was burly and it was, and I was like, how was it for you, mom? And I was like, <laughs> 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 no, and I, me and my mom, like, I, I was in grade school, and um, you yeah. had your first kiss in grade school. Yeah. Aw. Jeez. What kind of grade school? Are we talking second grade? Or are we talking no, like sixth grade? like sixth grade? Maybe. Uh, yeah, that guess, sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. picturing like. I yeah. think I was eighth grade. I mean, yeah. right in that range. I was picturing Johnny Smooches over here no, first day, no, no, first grade. No, like, hey, and everybody. it was cool. What? It was it was cool because it was something like I like I have two older brothers and you know it's you know they were kind of like the Casanovas and like girls like they were both football stars and girls kind of flocked to them and and I was like the younger brother I was kind of the run to the litter and I remember just having my like my first kiss and and it was you kind were of, the, you're like so tall though how were you the runt well I I was the runt back then I was oh, a gotcha. little um and I remember like me and my mom would have these talks every night before we go to bed and and. Uh, just kind of like recapping the day. Like I, had a, I still have a great relationship with my, with my mom. And I remember I was like, she's like, all right, she was about to go. And I go, I kissed somebody. And my mom was like, <laughs> like oh, yeah. hit, the, hit the brakes. Oh yeah. And she was like, Oh, Jonathan. <laughs> like she, like for her, like her walls came crumbling oh, down. No. Like I finally like stepped over the threshold into like, you know, cause you're not her little, she wasn't happy yeah. for you. She was, she was, but she was like, you have to promise me you're never going to do it again. <gasps> and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was kind of cool, and I'm not. Yeah. Gonna, I'm not pretty gonna... <laughs> sure you, I'm not going to promise you that, Mom. Yeah, I just love the idea. Of you're like, and I never have. Like you just committed to it this whole no, time. No, yeah, and I still have not. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember your first kiss? Do I remember? Uh, yeah, it wasn't very far from here, actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> here's the weird thing. Here's the strange thing. So John and I are neighbors uh-huh. in addition to doing the okay. show. Okay. And uh, I've lived in this neighborhood now for oh, six-ish years, but I also have grown up in this neighborhood. And it wasn't until about two years of living here that I realized 
that I moved like a half a mile from my grade school. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> so uh, it's not far from here where uh, I've, I've given blood. Aww. I've given blood you, where I've had my first that, kiss. You gave yeah. blood in that gymnasium? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. That's really funny. <laughs> do you remember your first kiss? I do. Elijah Davilia. That's what I remember. Wow. I uh, remember all the names. Don't you love like middle you, school names, high school names? Elijah Davila? Davila? Davilia? I don't know. Davia. He was this really <laughs> tall really brown skinned boy with green eyes and we were at dreamy. summer camp it was like i think it was eighth grade summer camp in texas and we just like you know summer romance and we just took a walk was in the heat in the summer and he kissed me by the ropes course <laughs> <laughs> oh my god elijah uh <laughs> you were ahead of your time man wow. that sounds perfect <laughs> like melissa's gonna get back from yeah. <laughs> from south africa and be like hey babe you I'm going to take you down to the ropes course. <laughs> the ropes course. <laughs> I remember writing in my journal, it was like a French without the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I remember all of my first kisses. All of your first yeah. you only get one first kiss. Oh, well, you know, like with, you know. The first, per- the, the first time. It's the first yeah. kiss every time. It's, you know. With, oh, but yeah. that was my first, first actual. Like, so wait, wait let me, did, you're from Texas. Did, did you go to like sleepaway camp? I did go to sleepaway camp. <sighs> I never I, went to sleepaway camp. I just feel like you that's didn't. N- no, oh, that's yeah, so me fun. either. Yeah. My mom wouldn't let me like leave the block. <laughs> like sleepaway <laughs> camp. She, she she made me promise her I'd never kiss a girl again. Oh my God. I told her. My She's parents were like, "Get out of the house! My God, go away!" <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They obviously were lovely. Um, no, I was. Li- we had just moved from Texas to New Jersey, and um, I think my parents knew that I just missed a lot of my friends and stuff, so they sent me back to sleepaway camp in Texas. Oh wow! Oh, you went. You went. On a plane yeah. to go sleep somewhere. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's no, we, Travis and I were just at uh, Universal. Oh Studios, my god! And uh, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. We uh, we had a few drinks, <laughs> and we yeah. Uh, and I don't know if you know this, but Universal Studios is like we're not Disney. Have a drink. Like, <laughs> That's kind of their <laughs> motto, like <yeah>. literally. <laughs> and uh, Travis wanted to get a voodoo donut. Yeah. So we went out uh, to get a voodoo, voodoo donut. Voodoo donut is a is a. Uh, I guess it's a chain. Yeah, 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 yeah I know yeah. voodoo donuts. I, I, yeah. I, I, you look like okay. I guess he does weird witchcraft <laughs> no, I was, with donuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was daydreaming. That happens to me all the time. Thinking about Eliza. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I just drifted off into so space. Yeah, I wonder I what stop Elijah, about you. <laughs> Elijah de Venezuela <laughs> is up to right now. Green eyes and a rope course. It's you all know I he's going to fucking about. listen to this podcast. Oh, and it's it's going to be amazing. You're going to get an inbox. Yeah. You're going to get like oh a DM God. from him. He's like, I had blue eyes and it was a swing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you right. remembered That's it right. wrong. That's right. Um, so me and Travis are in Voodoo Donuts. And like, <laughs> I get sw- like young and hungry. Well, to- first of all. There were two kids behind us that were boys. Could not have given a shit about either one of us. John was being like real friendly and like trying to talk to them. And they have on this like Camp Wananaka. Camp Kukamonga. Yeah, yeah, camp yeah. Like okay. Camp Kawanga. Yeah, one of those things where you're like. Is, it's it, a made up. It's yeah. A, it's like a complete like made These up These are name. boy boys or like, like camp like, counselor. Like a 10, 11, 10, 11 year old kids. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So kids, yeah. And uh, just could not. And then they start laughing. And John's like, what, uh, what are you guys laughing about? <laughs> One kid goes, yeah. oh, it's an inside joke. I'm and like, well, excuse me. And then I was like, I like inside jokes. And he was like, nope. And so, so I go that. I go and order my donut. Uh, and I'm in the middle of like, oh, I'll have the voodoo man. And, I'll have <laughs> the, uh, <Yeah. laughs> and then I hear like beetle mania screaming, like just no. screaming. <gasps> and like 50 girls between the ages of like 10 and 12 right with the same shirt on come swarming in like they won't stop pouring in and now I, there's people like against the glass what and, oh it was nuts and i literally at one point i just like bent over i was like i like called in for help i was like travis and <laughs> i just looked, and i looked at the lady taking my order and i went and i'll have the cold brew coffee <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're gonna be a while <laughs> yeah so who what was but somebody was it was a camp from new york Okay. There was like a sleepaway camp. Yeah, they take this 11-day trip every year. I looked up the camp. I, I took all these photos of like John getting swarmed by these little girls. Oh, so there wasn't, it's not like Justin Bieber was in Voodoo Donuts no. with you. No, Jonathan was, Sadowski. Oh, thanks, Joy. <laughs> Jonathan Sadowski yeah, was in was Voodoo me. Donuts. They were, f- oh, I'm thinking these are like 10-year-old girls. <laughs> they yes, are. they are. <laughs> Wait, what, that's Young great. and hungry yes. gets a very diverse oh audience. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. I'm such an idiot. That's awesome. That's so, hysterical. But we're going back to the summer camp thing. So Travis goes, 
you real there was like 50 girls at Travis goes you realize that was like $500,000 worth of summer camp and I was like what are you talking about oh, yeah. yeah it was like 10, 10 grand a kid thousand dollars <laughs> a kid for this summer camp for camp for, for camp, camp. for uh, like a two week camp what yeah people need to send their kids outside with sticks more Amen to that. Yes. It go, we sell a $10,000 stick on yeah. quickquestion.com. You can give <laughs> you know it to your mean? kid. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Yeah. If yeah. somebody could sell a pet rock, you could sell uh, uh, like the, the imagination stick. There you go. Oh, my God. Joy. <gasps> I think that's what we're talking into. <laughs> the, imagination. the imagination stick. That's what we make our podcast yeah, with. But I feel like I really wish I, I had done. Did you ever go to sleepaway camp? I went. I literally went. One night, like there was a camp back in. I'm originally from Georgia, oh. uh, and there was a camp that uh, was a sleepaway camp. Camp Kickahami. Yeah. Ki- what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's actually called, if I remember correctly, it was called the Cotton Harris Camp. Cotton Harris Camp. Uh, that sounds incredibly racist. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of both of those like, titles. I think uh, Cotton, Cotton, was, Cotton Harris Camp in Georgia is like. Mm, yeah. I think the guy. I think Cotton Harris was a person. I think Cotton. I'm was, sure yeah, his yeah. name was Cotton Harris, and he lived <laughs> yes. on a very large plantation, plantation. in Georgia. <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna do it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was a day camper there, and every now and then they let the day campers stay overnight for like a one night thing, and then that's when they always did the murder. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was this like the murder in a box where you like everybody has a character? Wait, what's no. murder in a box? What's murder in a box? Murder in a box. You know, you go to the this store. This is like Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's cat. I don't know. I think I think we. Gonna... <laughs> no, you go to. Sorry, the... right, kids. Is the camper alive or dead? Yeah. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> Wait, you, what's murder in a box? It's a uh, it's a box, and it's got a what? whole like a game inside of it, and everybody, you, you know, it's like a dinner murder dinner theater. Like you an invite your room. friends over. No, everybody gets a card. Everybody gets things in the mail ahead of time to let them know who their character is, and then you know your oh, no. lines. Oh no, this is not. This is not. <laughs> we actually should do this. <laughs> I mean, this game with some booze would be so much fun. Twist my arm. <laughs> murder in a box sounds like a podcast. I love it. So uh, you did what's the your murder. thing? My thing was, uh, you're asleep. And the camp counselors come and get you, and they say, Julie's been murdered. And you're like, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Only 17-year-old <laughs> camp counselors yeah, would like, come up with something murder. Right. So we're like, what's happening? They're like, we, we, we have to round up all of the campers, and we have to go find her body. And you're like, What? So we go. This is horrifying. Oh, in hindsight, I 100% agree. At the time, I was just confused. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't live in Georgia this anymore. Like, yeah. Wait, this <laughs> is like when your parents are applying to like send you to sleepaway camp. They have questions like, do your kids like Twin Peaks? Right. Like, or do they right. watch episodes? <laughs> 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 Who's your kid's favorite yeah. Twin Peaks yeah. character? <laughs> That's hysterical. How is your child with blood? Um, <laughs> Which David Lynch movie does your kid most closely <laughs> relate to? Yeah. Has your kid seen Blue Velvet? Um, so we go out into the middle of the woods. Uh, there is a man with an axe, like a like. Like, like with the long hair and the the flannel shirt and all of that, and he's like hey, kids, and he's like yelling at us. And then I, I'm terrified at this point. And then we find Julie's body, and it's clearly ketchup. And I'm like, oh, this is all bullshit. This is not <gasps> real. Wait, so even for a moment you thought that maybe for a this while, was I, real? like, I mean, I'm I'm wait, so wait, you stop. I should stop, point wait. out, I'm ten. But I'm no, like but, ten but years old. They didn't prep you about this game before. No, I had no idea this was going to happen. What? Yeah. <laughs> People should be sued. <laughs> Shut them down. I thought it was like you guys all knew like tonight was the murder. No. You know? no maybe the other campers did. No one told me. <laughs> all I knew Travis, was. <laughs> Travis was in the bathroom during 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 the assembly. Oh, my Lord. This is stuff that you can only get away with in like the late 80s, Oh, 90s. for sure. It's like you can't do that for stuff For sure. Now. This was 1952. I'm yeah, very old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really old. <laughs> there was this thing I went to a few years back called the, uh, the Great Horror Camp Out. Um, which oh wa- yeah, th- th- that's like a thing. Like all, like it travels, right? Yeah, ghost it stories was, and stuff. Like what no, no it's an they, adult they, thing. Like you oh. go there. And yeah, you you pay money to stay in a tent to basically have people scare the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. they have like a bunch of games and a scavenger hunt, and that was kind of cool. And then there's also like in the middle of the night, like as you're sleeping, people just like kick your tent open and like throw a bag over your head. 
God. Oh, we didn't even stay. Oh, sucked, you mean a uh, music festival? I think what you're yeah, describing exactly. is Coachella. I yeah. think is what you're saying. So wait, so, what, so go back, like, so your summer camp, like, what kind of stuff did you guys do there in Texas? I went to. Well, I don't remember the name of the one in Texas. Um, I, the one I really remember was Camp Tapawingo in New Jersey, or See? maybe what? upstate New York. That's, Camp Tapawingo. That's, Tapawingo, that's yeah. close to what. Kimchi camp or whatever. What was the name of the other one? I can guarantee kimchi you. Kimchi camp. <laughs> it was, wait, camp kimchi, but camp was with a K as well. <laughs> Learning how to ferment things. Yeah. Fermentation camp. Yeah. Uh, Tapa Wingo was like, it was an all girls camp. We were on an island. Um, this we set, did what, water South Padre? Hold on. There's an all girls camp on an island? Yeah. Is it like like South Padre? Is it? Uh, uh, no, it's, well, it's. It's New York somewhere, upstate oh, New oh, York. Oh, I thought you were in Texas for your... No, I don't remember the Texas one very much. I th- okay. uh, what I really remember was um, this other one that I went to when I was yeah, a little older in Jersey. Because of Elijah. No, that was Texas. Oh, so you do remember it. I, that, yeah, that's <laughs> the only thing I remember about that camp in Texas. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, uh, so we did water skiing and we had like, there was um, like wood shop and leather workings. Then you, you did talent shows and we made up plays. And what? Oh yeah, it was great. It was like it see, was I missed I I missed out as a the kid. Best. I learned how to shave my legs. First time I ever shaved my legs, I was at I was uh on a river, was sitting on a rock. We had to whittle our own <laughs> razors out of out of dr- driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> we did whittle some sticks for sure. I made some hot dogs on the end of our whittled sticks over the. You were night. sitting on a river rock, shaving your legs on an island after <laughs> doing some leather working. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is so good. This sounds like a Wes Anderson summer movie. I love it. Did you see that Moonrise Kingdom? I loved it. Oh, wonderful. So good. Have you seen it? Uh, I get the gist. No, there's a baby in the corner. There's a moonrise and a kingdom. So this is an ongoing bit we have here. A quick question. Travis has, Travis and I have not seen a lot of the same movies. For example, he's never seen Dirty Dancing. Never seen it. Why? I get the gist. I get the gist of it. There's a baby in the corner. There's a baby in the corner. Dancing is illegal. illegal. Yeah, which he which he's confusing with Footloose. Which yeah. he's also never seen. I've never seen it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Footloose, I'm not mad at you about. Dirty Dancing. Really? Yeah. The original Footloose with Kevin Bacon? There's a, another Footloose? Yeah, yeah, yeah they was, Didn't it. they remake it with yeah. What's-His-Face? Uh, he's pretty talented. Um, I forget his name. Zac Efron. He was was, it, was really? it the guy? Am I wrong? I don't know. You could be right. I don't know. I remember. I, I, don't know. I think he's pretty good, though. Um, but yeah, the original Footloose, I, I don't know. It wasn't like for me... It wasn't super exciting, but Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing was great. Because it's got all that great old yeah. music. And it's a summer camp. Is yeah, it? Yeah. It's a summer camp. There's That's a right. summer camp in Dirty Dancing? It's like the family summer camp. It's like the, right. one of those Jewish summer camps in like in like the Catskills. And Jerry Orbach is so great. Oh, like the performances amazing. are so good. Yeah. It's worth watching. It's just a fun summer. Like throw it on you one night to, at six. You need to do like a musical movie. Oh, I would love to do that. You need to. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you guys at home know, but Thanks. Joy Joy is an incredibly talented musician. <laughs> Sings like a nightingale. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Nightingales sing. <laughs> don't they? Am I confused? They do. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I don't know. The mockingbird? You know, a nightingale no, sing. Nightingale. That's okay. right. That's right. The song of the nightingale. Yeah. What? Yeah, they sing. Okay. They sing. sing I all believe kinds, you. They sing all kinds of stuff. Singing <laughs> yeah. bird. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but Joy is a wonderfully talented musician. and, oh, and yeah. Yeah, I would, God, I would love to do a musical Have you ever done movie. like an onstage musical? Yeah, I grew up doing musical theater. Um, that was that was sort of my home base. That's all I ever really wanted to do was just be on Broadway and do musical theater. And then when I was 12, I was auditioning for New York Broadway shows and all this stuff. And I would always get really close, but I was never the girl that actually got the part. In the meantime, they were hiring me for commercials and like pilots. And I was going, oh, my God, I'm th- 12, 13, 14. I'm this money. And like, I'm in L.A. Yeah, and OK, yeah. I guess I'll do this instead. I was a sellout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> such a sellout. <laughs> I remember my first kiss and my first paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and now all I want to do is go back to theater. I miss it so much. I miss theater. Uh, you've got a what? You've got a great voice too, don't you? And you play the piano. I wouldn't say I have a great voice. Um, Melissa goes, I, you know, when I when I sing, she goes, you, you get a little loud. She says, <laughs> you, get right? a little you get a little loud. Interesting. I like that's to sing. Good for the stage. I like to sing. I like to belt it out, and uh, like that's the one thing in my. Uh, like I'm envious of. Like I have friends like you and like my buddy James Snyder, who is just oh like, Jesus. Like it, he was the uh, the lead opposite of Dina Menzel and If Then. And oh wow! He played Crybaby in Crybaby oh, on Broadway. Oh right. He's like, 
I mean, so as, talented. as good of a singer as you get. <clears throat> so I hear him sing, and I'm just like, like it's it's envious. Like God damn, I wish I can do that. But you could train that. I mean, if you if you can carry a tune, you can yeah, train. Yeah, I. Yeah. Uh, let's let's not encourage uh, that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's like th- that's one of those traits that I kind of I envy. You know, it's funny is uh, uh, I've done a bunch of musical theater too. Oh and, really? Uh, yeah. And I've tried uh, I've <laughs> tried my hand in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> On the boards. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, recently I was doing something and I had to record myself singing. And I, as I was doing it, I was like, yeah, man, I should do more musical theater. And then I listened to it back and I went, how did I ever do musical theater? <laughs> Who would put this, this on terrible. stage? This is terrible. You, well, there are know? some people, and I, I've seen this firsthand multiple times, who are really good on stage vocally. And you put them in a studio and something happens between the headphones and the microphone that You're messes kidding. them up, yeah. and like they really can't sing. That's in what a it studio. was for me. That's totally that was I've, it. It's you're not alone. I've I've seen this firsthand. <laughs> that's what it was. Yes, it's not a lack of ability. <laughs> that's, no, that's for sure what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, the, the 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 microphones. The were microphones bad. were uh, they were too hot. The <laughs> microphones were too hot. Yeah, I had a friend. Spe- I had a girlfriend specifically who was a spectacular singer on stage, like every night. Wow, everybody was blown away and then got into a studio and just couldn't. And wow, everyone was like, thanks for yeah, coming in. Thank yeah. you. What was uh, what was your, your musical debut? Uh, my musical debut was The Wizard of Oz. I was a munchkin. Oh, that is so awesome. Yes. Then I did Gypsy and To Kill a Mockingbird and um, a whole bunch after that. I don't know, like Rapunzel. I don't know. I just did community theater and, and regional theater my whole like elementary and high school. I love it. Wow. Yeah. I miss it. You know, I, I went out to, uh, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I've seen uh, the show uh, Humans. Uh, I haven't. The billboard's right outside the, my Humans house. The, I got to go look at it. The BBC show? No, it's a uh, play. Oh. Yeah. Jo- it's also Joe, a, is like it Joe Mon- Man- Mantello? Yes. Or? Yeah. Um, There's also a BBC and it was show great. about <laughs> robots called Humans. So I was, uh, like, I was like, yeah, 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 I know that show. It's awesome. <laughs> It's a good show. They sing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I didn't know they, they did the singing. Sing and they dance. <laughs> we are the robots. How are you today? <laughs> we haven't we. had an AI musical on Broadway yet. That could be. That could be mm. done. I, I, I'm busy. I can't like think yeah. about writing. I can't write in anything else right now. Um, but I, I saw this play, and it made me realize how much I actually missed n- being on stage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but more so, just going to the theater. Did you love the play? It was good. Mm-hmm. I had. Um, I have some criticisms. Sure. <coughs> but that's, I think, uh, me and my ego and, and you know. You're like, there wasn't like, enough. No, I mean, look, at <laughs> most things, there's something you can pick at. You know, overall, yeah. if you enjoyed it, it, it was, was moving like, story. It was, it, the story was great. Uh, the acting was unbelievable. Oh. oh my gosh. Where is this? Is this at uh, Dorothy Amundsen. Chandler? Amundsen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the acting was incredible. But there's something like, and like you were in a, a theater group out here. I still am, technically. St- which And you guys did musicals. We still do, technically. <laughs> 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 uh, but there's a, isn't there there's something about... Troubadour Theater Company coming to the El Portal this December. Are you doing something there? Possibly. I don't, <laughs> <know>. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but there's something about like just walking in a theater. There's like the smell of the paint. Oh, you know? yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's nothing like it. You like this the way the You're like, wow, smell. this is not gonna pay well. No, <laughs> yeah. the first and thing. you I don't know. even care. No, you don't care. There's uh, really the dust and the the wood and yeah, the paint smell and people just out there working. It's it's such a community event. It's not. It's so different than what we do here on camera where there's such a sort of a hierarchy system and uh. every, I mean you walk into the theater like everybody's picking up slack everybody's doing it you know everybody's working building right you know there's no the show really can't go on without, without everybody one, well, yeah. and it's the, that's team sport there's you know? that awesome thing of we only get this one shot tonight you yeah. know like we don't if I mess up we we have yeah. to keep going and have to make sense yeah yeah you know, you know that's true it's like how easy it is for a show to vary from audience to audience. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, when I saw the show, it, it was perfect. And then somebody can be like, when I saw the show, like, you know, Sadowski forgot fucking half his <laughs> mind. <Yeah. laughs> you know? It does. And I wonder how touring companies feel. Have you ever been on a national tour? I Ready for this? I have never done a professional play. Oh, what? Really? Yep. I've oh, done more professional shit. plays than you. Yep, that's Have awesome. Have you done regional or uh, sorry, national tour at all? No, no I'll I'll just uh, like like long term like yeah. you know two month stays in oh, one that's place. Cool. Yeah, I've I've only done theater in college. Yeah, wow. 
Yeah. I mean, the closest thing to theater I've done is like, you know, multi-cam sitcoms. Right. Well, which, which is pretty close. I mean, because you yeah. have the audience right there to interact yeah. with. But I wonder how they feel on national tours because the audience is so, it's so different just seeing a play in New York and right. seeing one in L.A. Oh, my gosh. I love seeing theater in New York because New Yorkers get that it's a... Uh, um, I don't know. Is blue collar the right word for it? Like it's an interactive experience and they get yeah. it and they're there to interact with the show and to have the experience. So they're not afraid to laugh out loud. They're not afraid to clap. They're not afraid. You know, they're, they're not, they're not just spectators. Right. And when you come to the theater, when I go to the theater in LA, it's, it feels very kind of cold and distant and everyone is oh. like afraid. Cause I think there is, uh, maybe it's just being in this town and everybody's afraid of what everyone else thinks of them. Sure. That, you know, we're, everybody kind of looks around like, Oh, was that fun? Am I supposed to laugh at that? Is that funny? I don't know how I, f- should I, should we be clapping now? Do we not? Every, everyone's so concerned with everybody else in the audience, yeah. well, that they're not just enjoying it's, the it's show. It's so like that LA right. thing to do. Right. But that's, what's fun about the, the troupe that I'm a part of is we we let the audience interact with us. Like there is no, like if you're not interacting, we're going to come interact with you. <laughs> like, yeah. like Tony and Tina's wedding. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> kind of. But like one of my favorite memories of doing a show we were doing, uh, we, our thing is we mash up music with Shakespeare. So we <gasps> did uh, Bill Withers and A Winter's Tale. So we did A Withers Tale. I love it. Wait, what was the Hall and Oates one you guys did? Romeo Hall and Juliet Oates. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm in the middle of having to come out and tell the king that a, a baby has been murdered. Like it's a super, it's one of the more dramatic scenes that we have. And I'm like, my leash doing the whole thing. And this lady won't stop unwrapping a candy. <laughs> it was probably like one of yeah. those fucking butterscotch right. ones with like the cellophane. You so know? You, right, exactly. So you hear crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. And he was like, tell me the deed is done. And I was like, well, I, and I just timely, I just turned and went, really? Now? <laughs> Now when you're like infant side, I guess I need a Jolly Rancher and I just went off on that. Adam boy. Adam You know, here's a fucking funny story for you. And I, I like going back, I wish I would have taken taken that route. I was in a, a producer session one time for uh, a pilot. Uh-huh. And uh like they were running back they were running behind for the casting and it was like in the waiting room. So I'm I'm like in this room for like forty five minutes an hour, like waiting for to go in. And then I finally go in. And like I really liked the show, really loved the role, and like in the middle of like this scene, it's kind of a monologue. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the producer on his phone. I've no. seen this has happened to me before. On his phone, and like, so I powered through, left, called my manager, pissed off. You know, he called up and of course. And I was like, you know what? I really wish I would have just been like, I'm sorry. Do you need me to wait until you're done? Like, I really wish I would have said that. Yeah. And going back now, I think I would. But maybe he was saying, this guy's killing it. Maybe Didn't he book was it. like, oh, Didn't book right, it. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's unbelievably disrespectful. It drives me crazy. It really drives me crazy. Actors are so disrespected. <laughs> but it's true. You know, I mean, look, we, we spend, sometimes so people ma- spend days. Exactly. They'll go, they'll pay money to a coach. You, especially when, if it's a role you really care about, you spend time, you get to an emotional place where you care about the role. Cause you can't perform in any capacity in the room if you don't actually care about it yeah. and someone is standing in front of you caring about something and you're looking at your fucking phone yep it's just yeah no it's a waste of everybody's time you know and if yeah, yeah it drives, hold on it drives me crazy. you guys keep going That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> sorry i got something yeah. to check that was uh, a uh that was a physical bit i did on a podcast that was fun mm-hmm. that was <laughs> that's a visual gag i so did wait, i want to I bring this back in real quick about something so but by the way wait i just want to say yeah. That goes for like real life too. Oh god! I mean, look. If a friend of mine, if if I'm like talking about something that means something to me, and I'm trying to share something with a person, and they look at their phone you're while we're talking, gone. you're yeah. gone. I'm like, it, no, it pisses me off in exactly the same way. It's no, I'm saying like I would with, be like, I'm fucking out. I'm oh coming, right, yeah, yeah. No, but it's not so much about like actors as much as it is just human. Re- Let's just be respectful. It, you're in 100%. a room with someone who cares about something. Listen to them for a second. Okay, I'm done. Go ahead. <laughs> so, no, I want to get sorry to bring it back. So wait, are you uh you're like when your daughter gets to be, you know, ten, you'd be okay like letting her go away to summer camp and stuff? No, not ten. I think I think twelve is probably a good age to be able to go right. to summer go like sleepaway camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, she goes to day camp. Um I mean, yeah, I don't know. It kind of, kids are getting older faster now, it, though. I th- I, it's these damn cell phones. It is, but they have Boom, a, the damn cell phones. They have less responsibility, which is creating this really strange 
breed of kids where they're they're kind of brattier because they have less responsibility. Right. People expect less of them. We clean their rooms for them. We're doing yep. all the dishes. They don't really have to have the chores done, you know, all this stuff. But they're learning all these things in a much more advanced way because of the Internet and what access the other kids have to everything. So it's really I'm finding it strange the more kids I interact with. Yeah. You know, I've, I, if, if I ever have kids, which one, one day I think I, I want kids. Um, Why'd you look at me when you said that? I have no choice over that. I want to have a kid with you. Okay. (laughs) 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 I don't know. What's Melissa going to say about that? Um, yeah, I don't. We, I've talked. Make us like, much more sympathetic for the podcast I don't, audience. I don't oh, know. Those two, those two uncles are raising a kid together. That's so Aww. adorable. <laughs> My kid's never gonna have a cell phone. That's a sitcom, by the way. A, like, say there's like a wife who doesn't want, or maybe it's a girlfriend. Like, cause she's like, I'm not ready to have a kid. I don't want one, but the guy really wants one. It's so called he, Unclehood. He and the uncle decide to raise a kid together, and it's like, I think the I'm not even kidding. This is kind of brilliant. Oh my god, copyrighted right now. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah, it's ours. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we review? Yes, let's review. To review, um, pornography. It's out there. <laughs> <laughs> pornography. It's out there. It's out there. Um, first kisses can be memorable. Go to sleepaway camp. Go to sleepaway camp. Don't get dragged to a fake murder. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, do a little research yeah. before uh, sending your kids away to, to sleepaway camp. Dreamy green eyes and a rope course is a recipe for a lifelong memory. That actually, I was like, I was like, is that a quote? <laughs> um, what do we got? Uh, 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 the theater is a is a special place. Go see more theater. Go see more Please theater. Go see more support theater. more theater. Yeah, I guarantee you, it puts you a little bit more in touch with the human experience, and you'll be entertained. Uh, and if you don't sing well, it's the microphone's fault. The microphone's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Joy, you have been the bestest guest ever. Yes. Why don't you go ahead you have, you have and lived you up guys. to your name. You have been a joy. Thank You've been a joy. You. Yes. Thanks so and much for inviting I loved, for inviting I loved me. looking through at life through your lens. Lens. Uh, <laughs> one off, well, there's a little vaudeville going on. Here. <laughs> why, 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 why. why don't you tell people at home your uh, your socials? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so on Instagram, I'm at Joy Lens, J O Y L E N Z, and Twitter, uh, which I don't go on that much, but you can still go there. Uh, it's Bethany Joy Lens. Ooh. 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 Fancy. So fancy. And then I. That I, sounds like a girl who would go to like a fancy sleepaway camp. Yeah. <laughs> Bethany, Bethany. You know what? This is the problem. It Bethany sounds like and I live Elijah in a country sitting, club. In a <laughs> sitting in a rope course. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Never going to live that one down. Uh, I am at Sadowski23 on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mr. Travis Clark on uh, those as well. The show is at Quick Q Pod. Uh, give us a follow. Make sure to rate and review Please us. Please rate and review. Uh, it, really helps the show a ton gives us a lot of traction plus it, it makes us feel warm and warm and fuzzy it makes us feel super pretty yeah. so pretty you're pretty Trent. you're prettier yeah all right uh, guys. <laughs> you're just signed off on that you're like yeah that's right joy you're the pretty joy you're the pretty <laughs> guys thank you so much we'll see you on the flip side see ya bye quick question